ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் த சிம்லா அக்ரிமெண்ட் இன் பாகிஸ்தான் ஃபாலோயிங் த வார் யஹாப் கான் ரிசைன்ட் அண்ட் ஜுல்ஃபகிர் பூட்டோ டு பவர் பூட்டோ வாஸ் ரிப்போர்ட்டட் டு பி இன் ஃபேவர் ஆஃப் பிகினிங் அ நியூ ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் வித் இந்தியா இந்தியா வாஸ் நாட் அகெயின்ஸ்ட் த ஐடியா பூட்டோ வாஸ் இன்வைட்டட் ஃபார் அ சமிட் அட் சிம்லா இன் ஜூன் நைன்டீன் செவன்டி டூ at the meeting the indians expressed the need for a comprehensive treaty settling all outstanding problems including kashmir but the pakistan is preferred a step by step approach in the end whereas the indian side wanted a no war pact it had to agree to a renunciation of force by both sides the kashmir issue was left hanging and regarding the line of control which india wanted to be respected by both sides pakistan added the caveat without prejudice to the recognized position of either side many of india's demands were watered down and india apparently went with it because it realized the precarious position held by bhutto in pa- pakistan and pushing too hard may have deposed him and made the situation worse the agreement not treaty as india wanted was signed on july 2 the simla agreement was considered to be a comprehensive blueprint for good neighborly relations between india and pakistan under the agreement both countries undertook to abjure conflict and confrontation and to work towards the establishment of durable peace friendship and cooperation the two countries agreed to follow a set of guiding principles in managing relations with each other respect for each other's territorial integrity and sovereignty non interference in each other's internal affairs respect for each other's unity political independence sovereign equality and abjuring hostile propaganda there was a mutual commitment to the peaceful resolution of all issues through direct bilateral approaches and to build the foundations of a cooperative relationship with special focus on people to people contacts however zulfikar ali bhutto speech in pakistan's national assembly soon after the agreement indicated that the kashmir issue was very much alive and that pakistan was ready to help the people of kashmir if they started a freedom movement in 1976 in spite of the pokhran nuclear test by india and the hostile reception to it in pakistan the two countries agreed to reopen diplomatic establishments and normalize relations like share and subscribe to support the channel thank you bye